We're going to win with every single facet. We're going to win so much, you may even get tired of winning. And you'll say, please, please, it's too much winning. We can't take it anymore. GM Retardios, welcome back to the channel. In this one, quick market update, going to go through some new stories. We got some AI meme coins and Sol versus ETH as well. So some crazy action on that thing. So let's just jump straight in. Subscribe if you're new. So BTC starting off the day, 68.1K at the moment. The kind of purple box I've drawn out here, this was just going through Crown's analysis this morning of kind of the daily range of where you would expect Bitcoin to fall. Somewhere to the upside of around 70K and to the downside around, I think it was 668 so somewhere in that box, we're likely to finish today's price action off at. But 68.1, Bitcoin looking pretty good, but I would hazard there has been a lot of open interest added this morning. I think like <laughs> half a billion dollars of open interest coming into the market. I'm assuming a lot of that is going to be a long interest. So I would not be surprised if we get some massive flush going into the election on the 5th of November. So I think things could build up likely to see some choppy price action, likely to see some huge liquidations as well. So my kind of state of play at the moment, the current plan is to just sit on hands and wait this out. And hopefully post election, we'll have an up only environment, which will be epic. One thing of concern, you can see DXY 104.29. So that is slightly concerning. Now news piece number one, we have Hong Kong set to issue more crypto licenses by late 2024. So essentially, this is saying there's going to be more venues, i.e. exchanges, to actually purchase Bitcoin and crypto assets in Hong Kong, which is kind of just a crack to the opening of the door of China, as this is kind of a proxy state where people who are wealthy in China, I believe, can funnel their money through and get access to crypto assets. So this is bullish somewhat. I don't know how bullish this is, but I think the kind of trajectory of this with the opening up of that area of the world into pro crypto, I think, of course, is a good thing. News piece number two here, we have Putin signing into law the ability for individuals and businesses to mine crypto with energy limits, which comes into effect on November the 1st, which is this Friday. I also believe they can allow for international trade to occur with crypto. And they are going to be monitoring things for money laundering, whatever that means. But again, another massive nation becoming a bit more pro crypto overall. So here we have Cato's AI mindshare of the last 24 hours. You can see the leaders are still GOATS, Luna, Tau. So it is some of the big names we were talking about in the last week or so, but you can see they're down quite a bit. So you can see the chart here tapering off for the likes of GOATS. Some things just going straight up, like virtual token has gone up a lot. This one was quite interesting as an ecosystem play for the AI agents to be born on top of like Luna itself. Some interesting things in here, but we have had a pullback and we're starting to see a bit of a resurrection here. So this is the GOAT chart this morning. You can see yesterday, big sell off. It came all the way down to 554. So about 55 cents, nice bit of TA on here. And if you did notice the Binance listing, the low for the Binance listing was around 60 cents. And it was not surprising to see that get run, go below probably caused mass liquidations as well as people on Binance levering up on GOATs. And now it's starting to show a bit of sign of life here at 660 mil, so 66 cents this morning. The daily highest closing candle so far is around, so on the daily chart, around 71, 72 cents. So not that far off, is it really? If we do close above 72 cents, put in the highest daily closing candle for GOATs, this starts to look a lot better. There was some fear overnight for this thing. We'll also go through Farcoin, which is beta two goats. There is the four hour chart of that comes down support area around the 30 cents or 30 mil market cap region. It's currently just under 40. She Jen's looking pretty damn good here as a female play to, of course, the goat token. This one infamously on Friday, we had mapped out this area, which I did not take the trade and I have kicked myself all weekend for not taking. Saw this around the blue line, didn't make the trades, publicly failing in front of you guys. That would have been a big old trade there. So pretty annoyed with myself, but we keep it moving nonetheless. But I think this one is a cook. We also did warn against Cabal play Ganon 
and it does not look great there. 8.9 mil market cap, not too healthy. So Mark Andreessen continuing to push as a KOL, Truth of Terminal and the GOAT token. This in a way is kind of Mark Andreessen's now meme coin. So his personal meme coin is GOAT, which is pretty damn cool. Mark Andreessen, obviously a very notable investor, 1.4 million followers. And now Truth of Terminals, GOATY Gospel murders any other meme. Eek, eek, eek. Going into Halloween, pretty apt. 207,000 followers as of this morning. I think there was some bot action, which was running the number up. I did see that Andy had put it onto private temporarily whilst that was sorted out, but the GOAT continues. Now change of pace here into some DeFi stuff, Sol versus ETH. So this is the total volume in crypto for DEXs right now. As you can see from the kind of 2021 cycle, kind of peaked around 10 billion here. You can see we've had a few pushes into 10 billion in daily volume a few times this cycle and some huge spikes up here. That was around May. Um, generally though, the market, as you can see, is, is ticking up nicely in terms of those DEX volumes. More traders on chain, but what's really notable here is that the on-chain chain of choice, for not for a better term, it's Solana. And as you can see here, Radium has flipped Uniswap, which is a big feat. It's also flipped the likes of Pancake, Aerodrome, and you can see Orcas there in fifth, which is also Solana-based as well. Other Solana-based ones, Lefinity, Phoenix, you can see Sol is dominating here, which is super, super interesting. I think Radium was a great trade if anyone had got into that because it made a lot of sense. If Sol is gonna be the home of on-chain trading and Radium pools of water, powering all the pump fund launches, powering all of these different meme coins, then of course it was gonna reprice higher. A bit of a boring trade, you may say, but definitely an absolute cooker. So here we have it, Solana outpaces Ethereum in daily fees generated for the seventh consecutive day. So consistently now doing more in terms of on-chain trading and thus fees. And you think about the fees on ETH, they're high, the fees on SOL are low. So this is just like a step change in the amount of activity on SOL versus ETH. Let's look at the chart. On screen here, we have the SOL ETH pair. And as you can see, Solana is chatting its way up already at 0.07 which is pretty crazy. I think that's somewhere in the region of 14 Sol buys you one ETH at this point in time, which is pretty wild considering where it's come from, from the bottom when Sol was $8 after the FTX blow up. So do you think this will continue? Drop me a comment down below. We're gonna see further acceleration here for Sol over ETH. Fajal posted this one, ETH is up 11% year to date with an implied volatility of 66. S&P is up 22% year to date, so doubling the returns with an implied volatility of just 16. On a risk adjusted basis, you'd be fired for bag holding ETH this year with a low risk benchmark index doubles the performance. So pretty crazy stats that meme of the day goes to Bagsy here. <laughs> Year to date, Sol up 75%. Year to date, ETH up 8%. I like to watch T-shirt on there. But ETH does take the cake with this one. Ethereum tops all other chains for daily net outflows. So this on Artemis showing you where money is flowing from and to. So money flowing out of ETH into the likes of SUI, Base, Arb, and Solana there, the top chains. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.